Welcome Scorpio to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for tuning in you guys to your October abundance read. So I usually do a finance read here you guys, um, but I was guided to do um, go ahead and look for an abundance spread on the internet. So I went and I found something that I feel like really fits my style and it is a five card spread. And each card is going to represent one particular question. So I showed you guys the good tarot and I'm using it because it's green and um, just because it, it's green, that's all. Um, because it sort of, re it represents the color of money, um, I guess depending on where you live. I'm Canadian, so our money is a little bit um, all over the map. But anyway, um, so I hope you guys are doing amazing and thanks so much for joining me here. I hope the reading resonates with you. Um, you could let me know in the comments, but you know, guys, keep in mind, any video that I publish online for free is a general read. And what that means is that it's based on the collective energy present at the time I do the reading. So if it doesn't resonate, you may just need to visit another um, tarot card reader on YouTube for now, and I'll check you back another time, or you could need a private reading. Um, so Scorpio, I'm almost done shuffling here. So the first question is the current relationship with allowing abundance. So what is your current relationship with allowing abundance? So guys, in addition to commenting, I just wanted to ask people to um, like, share and subscribe because it really helps me um, continue on my path here. Um, able to provide these free readings. So I'll do one more shuffle, your current relationship with allowing abundance, and I'm going to do a deck cut and pull this card here. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting. So this deck, the Good Tarot, has a couple of cards in it that um, my other decks don't. So I do have my companion book here just in case. So we've pulled the temptation card. So your current relationship with allowing abundance is temptation. That's pretty interesting. So I'm actually going to whip out my companion book here. I know I took a little longer to get into the reading than I usually do, so I hope I wasn't too boring. Um, temptation and attachment. The material world is my playground, but I need to be careful not to be attached to outcomes. You know, the font is so small. This is a warning to me to watch for excess and to know what's not healthy for me. When this card shows up, it's a sign that I am focused on the material realm and need to be aware of any excess or addictive behavior, my own or that of others. So you could be spending too much money. You know, or you could be with somebody that spends too much money. So that's a pretty interesting card for your current relationship. Um, hmm. So we keep going there. And you know what's really interesting is that this is, you know, obviously from the story about Adam and Eve. I don't know what your religious belief is, you guys. Um, but, you know, if you're into the Bible, you've probably heard about Adam and Eve and the apple and everything. And then... One of the temptations here is a treasure chest full of money. So I find this is pretty fascinating, but let's push on. So um, the second card is going to represent how to get yourself into alignment. And this is the three of air. So I'm really just seeing right now that a, a close personal relationship is having a massive impact on your relationship with money. It could be like skewing it. And I actually got the word tainting. Um, you know, somebody could be sweet talking you out of your own goals, your own financial goals, your own abundance goals. Um, we've got the three of swords here. Well, it's the three of air, but it would be like closest to three of swords in different tarot decks. So um, this is about somebody close to you basically causing you pain so you've got temptation and somebody hurting your heart as you're like like the cornerstones of this abundance reading so how to get yourself in alignment 
is to stop letting somebody else influence your financial decisions. And if this isn't happening for you guys, um, just keep in mind, like I said, general reading. Um, somebody came onto my channel and gave me a great big lecture about my reading didn't resonate with her. And I was like, yeah. anyway. <laughs> so, um, so this third question is, what is the energy needed to embrace more awareness about abundance? And I think for you guys, because these first two cards are pretty um, stunning and a little bit eye-opening, um, this particular card should be really pivotal here. So the energy needed to embrace more awareness about abundance. So this card is the hermit mode, um, the hermit card. Um, and you'll see right at the top of this hermit card, I know it's super shiny, you guys. Um, there's keys. So you might have to, um, let me play with this lighting a little bit. Um, separate your finances out from somebody else. Like maybe it could be anything. You could have somebody taking advantage of you in any position in your life. You know, it could be like a coworker that you know you always take them out for lunch and they never return the favor you know it could be you're living with a roommate that never pays their rent on time so you have to pay it you know it's just there's some imbalance here and it's somebody close enough to you that you're having a hard time um pushing back so you've got the hermit card the energy needed to embrace more awareness about abundance is like really kind of separating yourself emotionally from somebody that has some sort of sway over your financial decisions because it doesn't look like they're doing you any favors. Um, you know, and the closer you are to somebody, the more personal money gets. So it can be very tricky, tricky. So let's look at the next card that is... Um, a current blessing that you should be grateful for. The page of air. So the page of air is, um, it's just related to things slowing down and stretching out somehow, you know, things not really um, happening as fast as you want them to. Um, there could also be children in the mix here, you guys. This is like, that card is confusing me a little bit. Like, how is that something to be grateful for? I'm gonna actually just pull one more card over top of that. So we have the messenger of water. So you have the page of air and the messenger of water here in the current blessing that you should be grateful for. So what I'm seeing is that this is like still really personal for you. And I think that even though somebody might be affecting your financial status, I think you really care about them. I think you really care about that person. And I'm really seeing that money's the only factor, but it is slowly sort of chipping away at you. Um, and that I see some really difficult, tangled up emotions here. And I'm, I'm seeing that this is still very hard for you to be grateful for that person. Um, and I'm seeing there's, there's some sort of other layer here. It's going to be hard for me to see it because this is a general reading. If this was a private re reading one-on-one, -on -one, I might be able to see a little bit more. But the messenger of water is definitely related. Like this is your, your thoughts <clears throat> and your emotions all mixed in one. So you're still, you're still really close to this person. Otherwise, they wouldn't have any sort of effect on you. You wouldn't feel any sort of sense of obligation to help them out financially and let it bother you. So there's something really genuine happening between you and the person that is affecting you financially. And it's, I'm seeing it's really slowly chipping away at you. I'm just still not seeing how you should be grateful for that. Um, I'm gonna move on to 
the fifth card and I'm actually being guided to pull the power of love card deck so give me one second to grab that and what I'll do is I'll go back and pull another card on top of that one and I haven't done this for any other sign I'm seeing there's a lot of confusion going on with like feelings towards possibly supporting somebody else financially. Um, it's really deep for some of you. So how should I be investing my energy to attract abundance? You've got the four of water. So the four of water talks about not missing any opportunities. So it looks like you're you're definitely missing an opportunity to focus on yourself here. And that's what I'm seeing in the whole reading is that you're investing your energy in somebody else's vision of what abundance should look like. Um, and you're missing out on that for yourself. I'm getting the words like hook, line, and sinker. And you know that means that you're falling for somebody else's line. So this is a pretty intense reading for you guys. And I know like when the cards come out a little bit, um, when they show a lot, um, some people just don't like the reading. But you know what? It's my experience that if something resonates with you in a negative or positive way, there is something there that needs to be paid attention to. So... Um, you know, sore points, they, they show where it, there's a need for healing. So I'm going to pull a power of love card on the current blessing that you should be grateful for, because it looks like you're really confused about an individual. So this says acceptance. You're ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the, the rhythm of life. So... I mean, if you really want to continue on, I'm really seeing this like sort of revolving around one person for you, that you're kind of giving your power away. So if you want to leave this person in your life, you're going to have to accept who they are. But what I'm seeing here is um, to sort of pull back the way that you subsidize how that person is involved with you. Because I do see it. it's been very painful here for you. Um, you know, and this, it's really influencing like how you're saving, where you're living. It's influencing you on so many levels. And it's got to be somebody very close to you. So I really just seen here with the Hermit card, the energy that you need to attract, em embrace more awareness about abundance is to sit down and think about it. You know, I, I'm really just seeing here that somebody could be running a bit of a long game on you um, regarding money. And it, it's just because you have such a big heart and you don't want to see anybody suffer. I think this is a really intense reading here, Scorpio. And I, like, I, I don't plan these readings, right? So there's truth in here for some of you. Um, so if you feel like you're really tired of kind of paying for somebody's coffee at work every day, then stop doing it. You know, um, if you've got somebody in your family that keeps coming and borrowing money from you, even though you might be having a hard time taking care of your own finances, or you're just sick of it, then say something about it. It doesn't make you a bad person. You're missing all these opportunities to take care of yourself, you know, and, and sometimes people need to be encouraged to step up and take care of their own business you know um it, it could be somebody so close to you it could be a child you know that keeps on coming back but you know you're gonna have to manage this yourself and it's gonna take you kind of getting away from the magnetism of the situation to sort of figure out how you want to continue because if it's been going on for quite some time already like what makes you think it's gonna stop and is your frustration ever going to end with the three of air so it's like you guys have some thinking to do, um, really. And without anybody else's influence over um, the way that you feel about them. Guys, this was a really interesting reading. I hope it was helpful to some of you guys. Um, yeah, something to think about at least. So guys, I'm going to leave the, the reading there and I'll see you back another time, okay? So take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Bye.